Starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You are listening to the New Investor Podcast. This is Farah for the New Investor Podcast. If you're listening to this, it probably means you're looking at ways to significantly change your current financial situation, get out of debt, or seriously start learning about building an actual net worth. And if you're listening to this, you're probably still looking at multiple angles in order to self-start your journey to financial freedom, which is probably another excuse for not doing. So let me tell you this. There is never an opportune moment to take the decision to change the outcome of your life. But once you did, you're in it for the long run. Never look back. What I'm about to say is crucial, and unless you realize its importance, you will probably fail. Now, we have spoken at length about the value of discipline, which is one of the pillars of your success, but I believe this attribute has no meaning whatsoever without recognizing the value of sacrifice. I speak today about this as I have been receiving a lot of comments on how hard it is to take the required steps to uh, get out of debt or how hard it is to build a savings plan or build wealth. It is hard just because you're not willing to sacrifice. And this is due to fear, fear of being judged by others, fear of forfeiting some kind of social status, again, predicated on others' uh, judgments, Uh, fear of, again, forfeiting a certain level of comfort, which is probably the main reason why your current financial situation uh, looks the way it is today. So fear again of uh, one not being perceived positively by not meeting the standards of acceptance by others or society. But you need to believe me when I say that once you start seeing the positive changes occurring in your life as a result of your direct efforts and sacrifice, you will no longer care of how others evaluate you as winning has a much better taste. So let me focus a little bit today on consumer debt and to clear any of those consistently and rapidly, there are no other ways but to be willing to sacrifice. So let's look at a few major ones and the ways you could get rid of them. Now, the solutions are usually radical. So let's talk about mortgage here. For some reasons, uh, you felt the need to buy the house you live in. So let's put aside debt you take on to flip houses to resell or producing rent for yourself or any uh, other form of good debt. I'm talking about pure mortgage loan here, which most of the people hold. So getting rid of this is actually simple. Sell your house and rent rent something smaller instead even. So these loans have a very low interest rate usually. They are tax deductible for a reason. They are attractive, easy to get, and you just lock yourself in for 15 to 30 years of recurring payments. So just sell the house, hopefully at a profit, and repay the bank. Rent instead something smaller in another area, even if uh, further away from your work. So sacrifice location, sacrifice your dream home for now. You can get those back later once you have built some wealth. Credit card debt. Credit card debt is quite unclear to me. Why would you ever spend more than you must consume to survive at this stage of your financial situation? Get rid of these credit cards and stick to debit card or even better, stick to cash. As a young adult, be honest with yourself, you're spending on a lot of wants rather than needs, right? Auto loans. This one is very simple. Sell the car and take the bus. Get rid of it. Student loans are serious in the United States. I think this is a major one. And the scary thing is that you you have very little control over it. But to have a robust savings plan is the only way forward. Um, you need to look at ways to increase your income and focus on repaying higher percentages of that loan month after month. This requires a full-blown sacrifice early on. So take another job, start an online business, use every hour of your day to get extra cash for the purpose of repaying that debt. Walk dogs, sell stuff on Amazon, whatever it takes to get rid of this as soon as possible. As far as I'm concerned, I do not own a house, I do not own a car, I have no credit card, just a charge card which I can afford to pay 
and a debit card. So I expatriated myself for exactly those reasons. I expatriated myself in hardship location. I sacrificed plenty. For what? To lower my expenses even further and increase my income and be sure that I stay out of debt. So it is very simple. The only reason for accumulating debt from now on is poor spending habits. And I highly recommend you go back to owning nothing and revisiting your expense structure. In the meantime, be well and stay invested. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I really hope that it brings you some additional support on your own journey towards financial freedom. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss an episode and looking forward to your DM and follow on Instagram at New Investor Podcast. In the meantime, stay invested, be patient and keep playing the long-term game.